Hey friends, welcome to Living a Country. Today we're gonna to be touring my new friend Genevieve Wright and her home today. So if you guys love Goodwill finds, antique treasures, and just shopping on a budget for your home, then you guys are gonna to love today's tour. So make sure you follow her in the description box below. And without further ado, let's get started with today's tour. So when you first come in the front door, we have a staircase leading upstairs. We have a closet and a half bath. And this is our entryway. This mirror was a home goods find a few years ago. I have an antique crock. The hello sign is from Hobby Lobby, and the two baskets are recent Dollar General finds. And this table is actually the only piece of furniture that is not an antique in our house. Um, my mom got that from us. I mean, my mom got that for us from Home Goods. So that's the only piece in our house that is not vintage or antique but it looks distressed so it's gonna stay for a while <laughs> and then off to the side here i just have some wall hooks i picked that up from michael's last year and this is the new hanging basket from target um, this just came out this year so you can probably try to find one and we just throw our keys in there little odds and ends when we come in the front door. So right off of our entryway is this large wall and I picked up this old window on Facebook Marketplace. I chalk painted and distressed it and then I built these shutters. Um, I had no idea what I was doing but I just trial and error everything so I built those shutters. And then I picked these candlestick holders up at the Goodwill the other day, chalk painted them, distressed them, and hung them up with a command strip. And then from time to time, I'll change out the wreath, but right now I'm really loving this one. I picked this up from Home Goods. I have a bunch of fake flowers. Um, and some real plants, but um, a lot of fake greenery because I am just ready for spring. <laughs> and then over on this wall, you just have a little gallery of photos. Nick and I with the dogs and then mostly the dogs because they're like our children. <laughs> I picked up all those frames at Christmas tree shops. So right off of the entryway is our living room, which the dogs tend to take over. <laughs> this is Bryce. He looks like he's smiling <laughs> and he's half asleep. And this is Maggie. Hi, baby. Hi, there's your little tail wag. <laughs> so these are our dogs. Um, they're the main reason our house is usually a mess because there's toys and dog hair everywhere, but we wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, I'm talking about you. <laughs> our couches are from Ashley Furniture. And then our matching lamps are from Target. The clock is from Target. The large wall sign is from Hobby Lobby. I made our drop cloth curtains and um, this piece of furniture I found at an antique store recently and I refinished it. That was $45, such a steal. Um, 
You can find this pitcher at Christmas tree shops. It was $7.99. And then this little candle stand or like an elevated tray that's at Hobby Lobby right now in their spring shop. And then I just redid this thing last night. I got this at the Goodwill and I thought this was so cool. It's a set of coasters and it was wood and I just dry brushed with some chalk paint on there. And then just a cute idea when you're not using your candles and they're not lit, I put a clear dome on top of them just to make it look a little prettier. <laughs> um, our pillows are a recent Amazon find. So, I so anything that I am able to link, I will leave a link down below for you guys. A lot of stuff that I have is from Facebook Marketplace or the Goodwill or antique stores, so it is hard to link, but I will try to link anything that I possibly can. Our coffee table was a Goodwill find that I repainted with chalk paint. Bracey boy, up, 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 please. Thank you. Sorry about his nails. Um, that was a recent Goodwill find. Um, I really love furniture that is multifunctional with a lot of storage. Um, so like this has tons of storage. I can store all of our board games, Wii accessories, Xbox accessories, stuff like that. So when you're picking out furniture, try to make sure it's functional too. Um, so I picked that up from the Goodwill. This basket is from Target. And then I have our lamp on a Goodwill bar stool that I redid. And then this gorgeous blanket ladder is from Home Depot. I recently got this. Um, I had to order it online. It was less than $50 and it came with like natural solid wood. I stained it and hung some beautiful quilts on it. This white quilt is from Marshalls and I recently saw it at TJ Maxx. So if you like that, you can try to find it there. It has like gorgeous detailing. It feels like so soft, really ruffled, cute edges on the bottom. <laughs> can I help you? Um, and then this gorgeous quilt is from the Dollar General. I love the Dollar General. So I picked up both of those and I thought that was the nicest touch for that corner. Shh, quiet. <laughs> um, and I have always struggled with what to do with this wall and my recent thought is to put an old antique door here with some hooks and hang something from it like put it right behind this um, blanket rack so let me know what your thoughts are i've always thought about shiplapping the wall but i just don't know if we'll get sick of shiplap so we shall see what we do with this wall <laughs> um our tv stand is an old dresser from the Goodwill, shocker. <laughs> and um, everyone's always amazed when I tell them about this piece. Um, I scored this on Goodwill's Dollar Sunday for $1. I, I kid you not, I can't even believe it. It is solid wood. I refinished the entire thing with Rust-Oleum chalk paint. That's honestly a piece I will never get rid of. I absolutely love that piece. And we just use that as our TV stand. And I just have a blanket ladder with our um, basket of blankets that we use on the daily. And then a little candle, um, not a candle, a wax melt warmer thing, whatever that's called. <laughs> that's from Walmart. Shh, Bracey, Bracey, you want to go outside? Okay, let's go outside. So off of the living room, we have this formal sitting room. I have this pothos plant hanging in the corner. 
Um, and then a basket of dog toys. <laughs> of course, that's just real life. Random like rainbow llamas, hedgehogs. <laughs> um, we have this gorgeous window that came with the house. I love that window detail. I love that it takes up most of that wall so you don't really have to fill it with any wall decor. Um, this gorgeous piece of furniture is a Facebook Marketplace find. I get all my furniture like antique, redo it all myself with chalk paint. Um, so that was a recent find. I've been looking for one of them for the longest time. I paid, I think 80 for that. Um, and then I just have this old glass jug with some cotton stems in it, an old core bowl. These like, um, these are like an antique pillar. I don't know if they're like off an old chair or what, but they were in an antique store. And the woman said she, I forget where she got them. She salvaged them from somewhere. And I thought they looked kind of like candlesticks. So I picked those up, have a little candle in this wooden riser. I got that from the Goodwill with a antique silver snuffer. My sister just recently made those little boxes for me to put my air plants in, which I'm obsessed with those. This uh, standing lamp is from Target. I picked up that antique sign at an antique store near me. This awesome wire rack is from Wayfair. I just have some old books in it. And then this is just an old bar stool that I got at an antique shop. You will notice that I really like anything with turned leg details. <laughs> Seriously, like a lot of my furniture is all like turned leg stuff, including this one. So this was like my ultimate score. I love this piece. It's my favorite piece in the house. I got this for $25 on Facebook Marketplace. So if you need furniture, please check Facebook Marketplace. It is the best place to get furniture. I have an um, antique crock with a pothos plant in it. Um, wire basket with just some vintage finds in it. Some old pieces of chair in that, um, in that white vase an old iron and I'm totally giving myself away with not painting the top of this hutch up there. Yeah, I got too lazy to finish that. And then this piece, I just love this. I refinished this, of course. And then inside, I just have a collection of brass candlesticks. All of them are from Goodwill. I just have some blankets thrown in there, some pillows, just to make it look like cozy. And then next to that, I have a bar stool. This was natural wood. I just picked that up from the Goodwill and then I stained it in special walnut. And then this is an old, I think it's like a clam basket. I got that from someone's garage and this is full of um, old bobbins. I got this entire collection of bobbins here for $25 from a lady on Facebook Marketplace who said um, that none of the youngsters in her family were into antiques. So she posted them on Facebook. I don't know if she didn't know how much these go for in an antique store or what, but a bobbin, like even just this size bobbin at an antique store goes for like $15 near me. So when she sold me 15 of them for 25, I could not pass that up. So 
I love that little collection. I have like the bobbins with the iron up there with the blankets just to kind of like, I guess make it seem like I iron and knit stuff, but I don't. <laughs> And then I just have this large mirror from Hobby Lobby a few years ago as like a statement piece. And then a peg rack with, this is the new Target basket. Um, like it was new this year, so you can probably order that. I'll try to link that below. And I just have some greenery with this chippy blanket ladder that I just got at Goodwill yesterday. It came like this. So, of course, I had to buy it because it's all chippy. <laughs> so yeah, this is our little sitting room area. And our living room. So much for um, a beautiful couch setup. <laughs> My dogs kind of ruined that. That's just real life. The pillows are usually all over the floor, so at least they're on the couch, right? <laughs> Okay, so coming through our house, we come down into the kitchen. And first off to your left is my little coffee bar area. Um, a lot of this is antique or thrifted. Um, the greenery is Hobby Lobby, that white scale. Um, I actually collect scales usually vintage ones, but that one is Hobby Lobby in their spring shop this year. And then the two candlesticks to the right of that are Hobby Lobby this year as well. And I just have some antique mashers, a copper teapot. This coffee sign was at like a boutique in an antique store, like one of those antique malls. So I doubt that that's vintage, but I just had to have that. <laughs> that little colander is um, Michael's this year. And moving down, we just have our standard coffee pot. I do collect Ray Dunn. So you'll see that throughout my house as well. This little stand that this is on is from Ikea. This is a Walmart Better Homes and Gardens dish towel. And then off to the right when you come into our kitchen, we have our pantry door. A little pantry sign is from Target. The greenery is Hobby Lobby. And I just recently got this from the Goodwill for $1.49 and redid that. It was brown. This was like copper. I just spray painted it, got a new receipt paper roll for it, hung some twine. Our island is from Facebook Marketplace. I got this for $300 when we first moved in. Um, I just could not believe that this was on Facebook Marketplace. The people were actually moving and um, I scored that. I was so excited about that. Um, the chairs are also Facebook Marketplace. They were a separate find. 
This little stand is from Amazon. I can link that down below for you. And then whenever I'm at the Goodwill, I always get these little corningware dishes or like these milk glass dishes. And I stick candles in them just to give it a little something something. So little idea for you if you thrift like me. Our cabinets used to be um, like oak colored. I painted them with Valspar cabinet enamel, which I cannot rave about that stuff enough. Um, it was a little finicky to apply, um, but I did that almost three years ago and the quality is still, like it's still holding up very well. Our backsplash, we did ourselves its beadboard with just some quarter round where it meets the counter here. It goes all the way around. And our countertops are Rust-Oleum countertop paint. Not the kit, just the $20 can of paint. Um, I will try to leave the color down below if you're interested, but we redid this kitchen on the smallest budget. <laughs> and I'm super happy with how it turned out. Here is my little collection of Ray Dunn on a Hobby Lobby shelf. You've probably seen those before. That is from Hobby Lobby if you're looking for one. This little fruit bowl is from Jill and June Co. It's a small little shop. I recently got these soap bottles. They are amber glass. Um, and they are from Sweetwater Decor. I got them on Amazon. This scale I found at the Goodwill. This fabric is Hobby Lobby. I matched that with our curtains. I just have a plant in an old crock with some Ray Dunn. And then I recently got this gorgeous towel holder on Amazon. So I will definitely link that below. I feel like you guys would really love this. box is from Hobby Lobby Spring Shop this season. I looked for one of these for the longest time at an antique store and I just couldn't find one in good condition so I settled for Hobby Lobby. I, I do shop there a lot for certain things so I like to do a mix of both. Um, that first wood cutting board is Hobby Lobby and then the one behind it is TJ Maxx and then this is just some Hobby Lobby greenery. My kitchen mat matches my outdoor mat and they are both from TJ Maxx. Don't mind the wet spots from my dog's paws. <laughs> um, we have some Radon dog bowls. And then I just have this chippy old chair holding a basket full of shoes. Um, and then you can pull the basket down and sit down to put your shoes on if need be. So I just have that in the corner, have this bakery sign on the wall there and then I have our laundry room sign hanging above our laundry room door another metal sign I really love like black and white metal signs um, this whole setup is from Ikea and it's still there all of the greenery there is from Ikea and the two black racks are Ikea the dish rags are Ikea and these, um, what are these called? Little pot holders are from Hearth and Hand at Target this year. The conversion sign is also Target. We're missing a doorknob here, <laughs> real life. <laughs> um, that little basket is just darling. That's from Hobby Lobby. And then those two 
wooden cutting boards are from antique stores. my favorite room in the house. This is where I'm always decorating. I'm always mixing things up out here. I love this room. It's where I put most of my decor. As you can tell, it is pretty full, but I feel like when you find decor, it just always looks best like in the kitchen and the dining room. So I tend to over decorate out here, but I love it. I truly love it. So Let's start over here first. You know what? No, let's talk about my table first. This was a Facebook Marketplace find. I could not believe this. I got this like two years ago. The whole set was $80. I reupholstered these cushions, had no idea how to do it. I just went for it. Um, this is all redone in Rust-Oleum chalk paint in linen white. And then I sealed it with a polyacrylic. And um, I did that three years ago. Mind you, we don't have kids or anything to make it like crazy messy or like used roughly because kids are rough on everything. So it has held up really well. Um, I guess we'll see when we eventually have kids how this white furniture looks, but. <laughs> That was an $80 Facebook Marketplace find. I made this. Um, I got the inspiration from a girl on Instagram, but that was a really easy DIY. I made that little candle holder. And then over here, I found this old crock. This stool is from Hobby Lobby spring section this year. And then I collect old rolling pins. So I just have a collection of them in here. I have this old chippy ladder that I made um, like a whitewash with just a dry brush technique. So I redid that. I got that at an antique store for like $12. So I thought that was a good find. This rack is from Decor Steels. This is a really popular rack. I'm sure you guys have seen it on Instagram. Um, and then I just have some Ray Dunn mugs hanging from that. And then moving on over is this gorgeous hutch. Another Facebook Marketplace find. <laughs> You're gonna get sick of hearing me say that. Um, and then in here, I just have my collection of Ray Dunn. Oh, let me open the correct door first. So I just have it all displayed with a bunch of random stuff. We've got scales and stools, candlesticks. I really like to do a mixture of old and new. So I have like old tools, old rolling pins, top of my hutch here, I have a pothos plant, an old galvanized watering can, an old, um, I actually don't know what those are, a spritzer bottle, and then um, an old basket with some white pitchers in it. 
and then I made that sign in the background. It says Hiring Trading Co. Mercantile, and Haring is my fiance's last name. So that'll be my last name in May. So I made that sign actually when the pandemic first started because I couldn't shop and I was like itching for some wall decor. So I made that and that is all above our hutch. Whoa, I'm about to break something. And then moving down the line, I got this old scale at an antique store with an old clam basket hanging from it. I saw this and I just could not leave it behind. I got that for $40, which was a steal in my opinion. The blanket ladder is from Hobby Lobby. And then I just picked up this awesome wire rack. It's a work in progress. Um, I kind of just threw some decor in it for this video, but I just got it yesterday from Facebook Marketplace. So I'm thinking that I want to spray paint it black so it doesn't clash with that ladder so much, but there's just some random decor in it. And then this is our fireplace. That clock is from Marshalls. Most of this is like thrifted or antique stores. These gorgeous Magnolia Crocs, I found at Marshalls on a whim one day and they are my favorite. I love them. Um, I actually have a tutorial on how I did this brick on my own YouTube channel and that was so easy. That is literally um, spackle and paint to make it look like brick and then I redid the beam. That's a faux wood beam. Then we just have a antique stool with a basket and pillows and this antique stool that I got from Goodwill as well. And then over here we have a corner cabinet. I picked that up from an antique store for, I think I got it for like a hundred dollars. Redid it in white. Have a milk glass pitcher, some lace doilies, which I love to collect. I actually have a, a bunch of lace doilies around. I keep them in a basket on top of my scale there. But they look awesome just draped out of um, like wicker baskets, layered under candles. I love old doilies. Just have some random drawers from a jewelry box that I like distressed. That wooden stand is from Target. I just redid these. They were like a kitchen canister set. I got them at Salvation Army and used stone spray paint to make them look like old Crocs. I'm obsessed with pickles, so I could not leave that old Croc behind at an antique store. <laughs> picked up this old scale on Facebook Marketplace. I just hung that next to that bakery sign. And then the last piece to show you in my dining room is this antique dresser from Facebook Marketplace. And um, I redid this in chalk paint. It has like gorgeous wheels on it. I love furniture like this. And then I ordered these pools from Amazon, chalk painted it, distressed it. Um, I got an old chippy window with all of the glass still intact. 
with this gorgeous wreath on it. This lamp is from Dollar General and I just have an old snuffer there to put out candles. So yeah, that is our dining room. Oh, and our chandelier, that's for Wayfair.